by the way, there's somebody who brought out something which I thought I must uh, ask you because they uh, were saying that the pulse now is almost taking a tone where it has become soft porn. Is it? Mm. Soft porn. When we have a covered girl <laughs> all over here. Well, the, which, is what I'm saying, which, is, which is why I'm saying that this time it's different because you've, you've, you've covered up, which is congratulations. Yes. But somebody was raising concerns that pulse is becoming soft porn. So know, what do you have to say I about that? I don't know what age they are because pulse is just meant they're to be young people. They're apparent. They're apparent. Yes. Uh, think, that's why they're uh, apparent. That's why. And so I reserve my comments. I would find time to meet them and explain kindly. Yes. The essence and why. So, and so, so you, so you, 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 you say that it is not soft porn, right? Yes. Okay. So where you are right now is video vixens and stuff. That's a cover story that we have today. Mm -hmm. Video vixens are about just creating a video and just making it look all that. And so we are talking about video vixens because yes, as you know, the Pulse Music Video Awards are coming in another. Is it three weeks or so? The nominations. Uh, uh, the, the close of the applications is ending in two days and yes that's why we are saying these are the video vixens that we've had this year and so many other things that are going on here. The, 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 the girl you are seeing there who is fully covered is because this is the current Miss World Kenya who just left Kenya for China for the finals and yes she is beautiful as she is and so Absolutely. we didn't have to and, and, and maybe just uh, Boyo for the sake of those who may be generationally challenged may not understand <laughs> what a video vixen is maybe just uh, uh, let us know what a video vixen is because uh, looking at these video vixens who are on page nine of the eight and house nine. eight and nine uh, I guess they make the videos rock literally yeah, video vixens or video girls are beautiful women who are featured on the videos, the music videos, mm. yes. Okay, uh, simply put, that's what it is. And uh, there's also something else that was interesting that was taking place. And this is the passing of uh, breastfeeding bill which was passed by MCAs. And of course, this has been a subject of discussion. Remember not too long ago, uh, there was, um, you know, pictures doing rounds and women going up in arms saying that breastfeeding is something, it's beautiful, it's natural. But there are those who felt that it needs to be done in a private place and, you know, those, all that. But MCAs have passed the bill now. And uh, boy, maybe to hear from you on, you know, your, just your thoughts on that progress. Congratulations. At least they're working and there's, there's one thing they have passed that makes sense. Mm. <laughs> Which is the bill of uh, creating spaces for mothers to breastfeed. Mm. First, it, uh, the mothers feel safe. The mothers will feel safe on these areas to mm. breastfeed and avoid the pervert who, who look at you and start thinking about different things apart from the natural way which is just feeding your baby. Mm. They start having intentions, they start discussing your boobs, they start having weird <laughs> thoughts. Let me say You're weird holding your thoughts. words back. You want to say something? I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct. Correct. And, and, and for the benefit of somebody who might not know what that bill is all about, it's basically a bill that was passed um, and a motion compelling executives to compel hotels and public amenities uh, to have designated breastfeeding areas. Uh, and there's a picture right there which um, some might not... Um, well, again... This again was, of course, brought to light when there was a lady who was breastfeeding yeah. in a hotel and mm. she was asked to leave and do it privately, which, of course, she was not too happy about. And it caused a debate. Stevens, do you think that is good direction? Really, this, this, this is a long overdue, I would say. It's a positive thing. So there's no argument about it. Mm. I think we should just enforce that. Absolutely. Yeah, considering most women, the, the only place you had to do this in those establishments was in the loo, which is very unhealthy. And, and, and hygienic and, and also demeaning. Why should, yes. uh, you Why should I hide feed a natural child? process of life, which mm. is feeding a child? And anyway, let's face it, all of us are a result one way or the other of right. breastfeeding. And doctors do recommend that, uh, it is recommended actually, that ch children are breastfed for as long as at least a right, year. Right. Uh, not very many children get breastfed that long. Again, we have a very different society. I've had cases where ladies actually stop breastfeeding because they would like to maintain their looks. That doesn't Slay work. queens and stuff. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. But still, it happens. The, 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 the ladies who assume that when I breastfeed my child, I'm going to lose the shape of my boobs. Mm. So why, why should I breastfeed? 
So they tend to give formula. Which is more important, the shape of the boobs or the health of the child? <laughs> That's can we, can we Can we, can, can we, can <laughs> we refer them as mammary glands as opposed to... Yes. But anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mammary glands sounds very scientific. <laughs> it is scientific. <laughs> But really, it's simply the book. But there are some people who, who prefer I want to maintain my looks instead of feeding the the child, which is not right. Because mm. why give a child a formula when you have a natural formula which is much more healthier? Which is healthier. Yeah. Now, but there are also... some ladies who take that option. Yeah. yeah. All right. So there you go. It's actually uh, been passed, and we'll wait and see whether now those uh, places are going to be set out and you know, uh, given. Um, the due respect that mothers deserve to have a place where they can feed their children and do that with confidence and also without feeling like they're, you know, demeaned. I remember a time um, back in the day when you'd get into a KBS and a mother would be breastfeeding there and it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this big deal thing came from because mm -hmm. uh, breastfeeding really is a natural thing, mm -hmm. uh, whether for, for mammals, really humans and whatever animals so there you go but also there's a story here which uh, i came across and i needed uh, you guys to maybe elaborate for me and for the sake of everybody else on akothe reading um her manager the riot oh Act. yes <laughs> that uh akothe's instagram went you know crazy crazy yesterday and and they are somewhere away in dubai i, I think that they're shooting something we know that our reality tv show is about to to start and I think that's part of the process of, of, of them going to Dubai with Eric Omondi and just quite a big team. Akothe is, you know, a movement. Mm. And so she posts this video after so many other videos of them arriving and all that, of her somewhere in a little room, I guess it was the guy's room, tried to ask him, why are you snooping at me on everything I'm doing with and this is her huggy manager. man? Yes, a manager who is... Quote, quote, could be boyfriend or something. So he has no, he's feelings for he's her. the man. He's, 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 he's the man. She's he's the man. So he's man. protecting his own. And he's like, kind of like asked her, why are you feeling so free with everybody? Why are you hugging everybody? And who was asking? A was uh, the, the, manager the manager was asking. The, man the manager stroke okay, man. The reason I'm asking <laughs> that is because, I mean, Akothe, just by virtue of how she is character-wise, I mean... That's something she does like literally every five minutes. So. Now, now he's getting to reality check that really this is a code they cannot change. Probably, you know, when you enter those zones and just think I'll change you with time <laughs> and ABCD. And she just told him off, no, if you cannot handle this, shape out. Shape out. And, it's, and I liked the way she just told him, you know what, you're a manager, full stop. So leave my no, other end. But, but again, this being, um, <laughs> like you mentioned, reality TV, could this just be another um, setup? I think reality for, reality for Akothe is reality. It's not acting. I, I, I like but it's reality, but I think I like Akothe's reality. Because so you're saying with, 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 with uh, Akothe there is no security. <laughs> there is no security. <laughs> It's just that so. role. It's just that role. She's just, she just real with herself. If, if he entered the relationship, wanted to change a call there, that won't happen. They say uh, once you reach the age of 12, you can never change mm. unless you want personally. Just to be your person to, that wants to, 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 to change. So, fail number one, you cannot change a call there. Right. Fail number two, she's her own, she's, she, she's her own brand. And apart from being a, a brand, you already know what you're getting into. into. You're getting into crazy, you're getting into dances, you're getting into fights. tantrums, you're getting into fights, you're getting into uh, baby mama drama. So prepare yourself. You Once are the fourth you get one or the fifth one in the lineup. <laughs> in the lineup. In the lineup. <laughs> Be happy because you accepted that, that. She, that, that at least you're there, at least you're going to Dubai, at and least if you you're can't paying, handle your <laughs> big pays. <laughs> if you can't handle, you just go back to the role of being a manager and you shut up mm. and you tell her it's time to shoot, it's time for me to release your press releases and all these things that happen. Mm. And I would want to watch that reality TV. I think many will be and, waiting and, to watch and, it. Uh, Stephen Zinni idea when glamour meet ratchet is, is is it more like um, <laughs> the Kardashians kind of a thing that they're trying to do? I think Akothe, <laughs> everything she does, everything she quotes, everything everywhere she goes, everybody seems to like and hate at the same time. Uh, we, we've we've had many people actually even this week people accusing her on engaging our young children in things that she does. You know, beach. You know, in the beach, you are naked, you are dancing, you are filming, and you are sending it all over. But I think Akothi, whether you like her or you hate her, the thing is that she brings out who she is 
And she has said before that I just live for me. I don't live for you. So if you like me, sour. If you don't like me, sour. And I think that's what the reality TV show is going to be all about. Mm -hmm. Because we have been following her without a TV show. Uh, you're, you're chasing on Instagram and see what has she done now, ABCD. And it seems to have a life of its own without anybody forcing it mm -hmm. to have a life of its own. And I think, yes, once it drops, she's already indicated it's dropping. I'm not sure when, but soon. And I think that's going to be a bomb. Well, let's wait and see, because that's definitely going to be a very interesting um, screening, I guess. Yeah. Uh, given that, uh, but again, talking about the manager and the fact that he knows what he got himself into, it looks like some people take a lot longer to realize. And there's a particular story that also caught my attention here of a man who divorced his wife after 50 years in hey, marriage. Yes, 50 years. Hey. It's a long time. I don't, I don't know what happened. I've, I've been married now for 19, going to 20 years. I'm on the 20th. But I don't know how uh, you are actually at, you know, 50 years. What, what have you been waiting for? For, for 50 God, years? For God to say something. <laughs> 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 I'd rather have those, and that happens a lot in the celebrity world. I'd rather have those celebs or, or people in marriage who would try, and the first year is not working, the second year is not working, and you decide, you know what? It's not working. Mm -hmm. So can we sit down and end this one? Instead of having a lifetime of uh, torture, quarrel, and sometimes ends up with somebody killing the other one. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it goes to that level. I don't see how you stay for 50 years in marriage and it's troubled, and you're trying to fix it and it cannot work at all. You know, I, I've been married for three years now, Three years, yes. If it wasn't working and if it's not, cannot be fixed, Mike, you'd rather say, let's sit down and end this one. The thing is, after, after 50 years and the woman was 73, uh, you know, they, they're saying, and maybe I shouldn't use this here, but let me just use it. Uh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. At 73, having stayed with somebody for 70 years, what... I mean, what is it that you cannot resolve? You've basically learned to live that way. I'll, I'll, let me use a neighborhood, for example. If I li live in a certain neighborhood, I may not like that neighborhood. But over time, if I live there for, say, 10 years, I kind of get my way around. Um, I can't change that neighborhood, but I can still live there. So my thinking would be, rather than, you know, do that at 73... Let's status quo remain. It, it, it sounds like a wasted time, a wasted lifetime. 50 years is a lot of time. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, they say by, by the first year, you know who you're getting married to. And I guess this might be the case of security. The guy had security and the woman needed security. Or mm. either way, there, there was something that was working. Because for, for a person to stay for 50 years, you can't persevere if there's, is, everything is wrong. You can't be there if everything is not working. So there was one thing that was working. And maybe by now, the 50th year, Boy. that thing, that one thing is not working. So she was like, instead of me dying in a horrible relationship, why don't I just spend two more years or whatever, or whatever remaining years, years have, in happiness? Mike at you are leaving me for who? <laughs> for yourself. And then for, for your liquid. sanity. You don't have to, I don't have, to, a, a woman doesn't have to leave you for someone else. I can leave you for my own space, for my own sanity, for my own, everything that I've, I didn't have for those 50 years, I can have for Just a Just take years. a different bedroom, take a be different bedroom. You've been like this all years long. So, so you want it to be a case of housemates? It doesn't work too. it would be better than never. So you're going yeah. back to Wazazi at 73. Who said she's going there. back to Wazazi? No, she at 73, not she's, at she's 70... Mzazi and Grand she's, Mzazi. She's so a I'm, I'm imagining that <laughs> <laughs> there's, no way, there's no way she's going to any Mzazi. She's probably it. now going to give advice to her grandchildren. But anyway, I, I just thought 50 years was a long time to be together and go separate ways. Because I'm also thinking in terms of the investment of time, the investment of emotion. For 50 years, you have been investing in this relationship. Uh, and what... also, old age, that is when you need companionship the most and that is the time she decides Actually, that's you know what yeah. bye i'm done with this mm. that's when people say people fall in love again like teenagers that's when you see yeah, old 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 couples just working together and mm. looking crazy together Absolutely. and this this guy that's how you die so fast and and i guess well we do have a segment on morning express now that's called black and white where we handle social issues and maybe it might be interesting to maybe talk to even to a lady like that and find out what happens because it would also help many that also get into marriage because of pressure because we must admit that there are some 
who get married not because they think this is the right person, the right lady, the right, the right guy, but because of societal pressure, you know, there's the biological clock. And every time, especially now that we're going to December, uh, when you have, you know, the family get-togethers, relatives, relatives yeah. come and they're like, so what is going on? And they're, you know, kind of looking at your aunt one day. Hey, ume, ume <laughs> <laughs> so out of pressure, it gets, you know, and I don't know whether you guys go through that kind of pressure. And sometimes it's not just with uh, a spouse. It could even be with children. It, it, it happens. I mean, in uh, the African culture, sorry, <laughs> in African culture, we uh, need to believe that at a given age, you're supposed to be doing this and this and that. Uh, you have cleared high school, you have cleared a campus, ABCD, you're already working. Two years, what, what are you still doing? The next thing is marriage. And that's how we season to think in terms of a generation that is already gone. And we are here thinking as young people, especially young girls now, until you do your master's and PhD and make your own money, they don't want to leave their comfort zone. Mm. And so that pressure really is a factor that is a, is going it to is just saying, real. I will marry for you, family, but at the end of the day, I know I'm not in this one. Mm. And maybe that is the, another the, pressure that has kept them together for 50 years. Yeah, you, you get pressure all around. You get pressure from workmates who are like, how come they're not married? What is wrong with you? Mm. Get pressure from your peers who are all married and, and they may be flaunting their good lives. Like, uh, how comes? there's something wrong with you for not getting married. You get pressure from your relatives who are constantly saying, are you cast? Uh, did someone go to the witch doctor? Is our family cast? And, and all this. So you decide, you know what? I'm just going to get married, have kids, and mm -hmm. then when I'm dying, raising them, because this might be another case of I'm dying, uh, all, all my kids are out of the... empty nested. Mm -hmm. So why am I here? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, well, just as we wind up, we've already given you some of the highlights on the Pulse. Anything that we may have left out? I talked about, about video vixens. I'll, I'll give a triple three for whoever is watching uh, the show today. Uh, page 17, we talked to Joy Mudenki after she just left. Oh, yeah, uh, she left job. Uh, 10 out of and 10. This and this is an exclusive, people. The question is, is she dating Mariga? Are they getting married? What is happening? That is only in the past today. We're talking about Wasafi and the trouble back in Tanzania, where Magufuli's government doesn't want to hear anything that is vulgar. And so he bans a song that these guys released the other day and finds them quite a huge chunk of mine. Yeah. What's the song? That's the song. It's, she's not saying something beyond that. Mwanza. <laughs> so that is the song. That's the name of the song. Oh, yes. You know, the one, what's going on with uh, Boyo. Yeah, that's actually the name of the song. <laughs> that's the name of the song. Yes. But and wait, is... is Okay. And, yeah. and around the same, because December is here and all those guys are coming down this way, I think that if is going to be a very big show here, <laughs> we're just talking about the Wasafi demands. And that's around page seven of the past today. If you just look at it, the things they would ask from you, if you are bringing them here to this country, Mike, you may just rethink and just say, what's an ikaina way to upper to chape show? To chape to show. So that is another exclusive Wasafi demands. What they would ask for, what kind of a room they would ask for, what kind of a, a flights they would ask for, drinks and everything around it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, only in the past today. All right, so there you go. I like what you've called this one on page 17, the scoop. It's yes. basically uh, Joey taking a bet with uh, Mariga, Mariga and maybe yes. his cause. Who knows? We right. shall find out what the results are of the game. <laughs> it's all there. It's right there it's in the game. It's a game now. <laughs> all right. We also have on the Nairobi, and then yes. we have uh, maybe, boy, you can take us through this. Yeah. On the front page, we have uh, why Senator is fighting the rich wife. And this is, again, yes, about... Yes, I saw an article on the paper not too long ago that he's been given, uh, but he cannot come within a certain um, radius of where his wife is. Yes. So this is Senator Lunturi, and there has been allegation of physically and sexually abuse. So he's been told, do not, uh, there's a restraining order of how they should work out the relationship on mm. that. That is our main story. Uh, on our in-depth, on page 14 and 15, we have the Kenya's most feared curses. This, these are curses that the... Right. <laughs> The Kalenjin elders, the Kikuyu elders. What page was that again? Page 14, 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, they say it will happen, and apparently most of the time, those curses do not happen. So, are our witch doctors our, our, stroke? Doctor, ours, ours. <laughs> curses. <laughs> uh, are, they, are, they, are they fake curses? No, so we, you, it's, it's just that we got Jesus. We got Jesus, yes. so some of those curses, so they the, just bounce off. That's the in-depth of why this uh, is just a hearsay and it doesn't happen. On page 22 and 23, we have 
men have no idea on what to buy their women. This is, uh, there has been a story of why, why, why Kenyan men are not the best gifters mm -hmm. of, of, of presents. And, and is that so because you, maybe women are difficult to please? You, you know, see? Could, more, no, I'm just already asking. An I'm just asking. I'm already just an asking. <laughs> already an excuse. No, no. By, by the way, that's the mood of the story. I read it, and I, it's it's. We are not sure what they want, mm -hmm. which is basically a woman wants a lot, so much, and yes, and and, and to be honest, one of the things that uh, for the last uh, few months has been a pet peeve for me mm -hmm. is this idea of uh, Kenyan women always talking about. Whenever you hear Kenyan women talk about Kenyan men. It's always negative. So I'm always uh, wondering, so at what point are you going I'm to fix defense. them? And at what point are they going to be the ideal man that you're looking for? So I'm sure yeah. so there's a lot there. You, you, you get, to, we, we, get to read on page we 22, like to read a guide book now from Kenya. It's, it's like a guide story on what you should get to your woman, uh, what the law says about the gifting, when you should you have, what kind of gift the can you take back? Gifting. Yes, what kind of gift can you take back? And all that. You can get it on page 22 but, and but, page but, but 23. Let, let me interject a little bit. Just make sorry for this. It's, is it common that men give to their women or their girlfriends when they have errored them? Because yes. that's, that's the other argument that I saw there. Mm -hmm. That I give to my woman because I want to be forgiven for, for something, you've for done. something I've done, or which I find done. again very wrong. Which, I mean, which, which you can read it there, Maurice Matheka saying, buying gifts won't save your relationships. And women should not allow uh, men to shut them, them down with gifts, mm -hmm. like basically buying them. If, if you make a mistake as my husband or as my boyfriend, just say sorry. And he says that uh, there is a notion in Kenya where Kenyan men saying sorry for Kenyan men is, is not manly. Mm -hmm. So you, you prefer buying gifts to shut the woman down. Yeah, and women... Are now accepting it, and yep. now it's a, it's a thing to do. What do men in other countries do when they? You say sorry <laughs> and mean it, and you forgive. Them. Who has that experience? You, you should try. Well, uh, that is all in the Nairobian. Nairobian. Please do get yourself uh, the weekly copy of the Nairobian, which is available as from today. Before we wind up, we'd like to just watch our meme of the week. Uh, before we say goodbye, and uh, if we have it ready, let's have it run. Then we can uh, get out of here. What? Plus two five four. Nina kuwa five kesi yezi kupatia four. Patia forty thousand. Walai. Walai bila itarudisha. Takurudishi ya walai. Pana. Yezi kupatia do ingine. Yezi kupatia do mo. Kido kuda kamoja. Leke go ready na customai. Ada kuare. So, anyway, this guy from Bahrain, <laughs> of course, after picking his call, it reminds me of a meme that was doing rounds uh, not too long ago, a video of this young boy who was speaking with an American accent. Yeah. Uh, then somebody in the background just screams and says, <laughs> But anyway, Kenyan humor, always yeah. a delight. Yes. Humor, rather. Always a delight. Yeah, I saw that with uh, one of our comedians who was away again when he was in his bus and then... Suddenly, there are guys talking a lot of Kiswahili at the back. So, just thinking, Ati again, where are you? So, yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, and uh, it also reminds me of the Kobe Kihara um, challenge. You know, challenge, which went round. But anyway, Kenyans are always very creative. And we need to wind up now. Stevens, what are you looking forward to doing over the weekend? Uh, will be easy, but again, just watching and see who is posting their applications for the Pulse Video Awards. Again, I said the nomination uh, 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 process starts on Monday to mm -hmm. Tuesday. On Wednesday, we are unveiling who is going to be Which in the game be? this year. So, okay. yes, whoever hasn't uh, submitted the applications, we have two days between now and Sunday night. It's a wrap. And, yes, Mike, I think that's my focus. Beyond that, I think uh, Cox Studio, many yes, artists sir. coming to Kenya, mm. today all the way from Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and everywhere. Yeah. I think we're going to be watching. Boyo, what are you looking forward to doing over the weekend? Are you also joining him on uh, looking for the videos? Uh, no, no, no. Today, it's, it's a working weekend, so that's...